Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I want to be telling you the difference between Forge, Bucket, and Sponge servers in Minecraft. There's tons of different server types out there, but those are the three main ones. Forge server, Bucket servers, and specifically Bucket, Spigot, and Paper servers, and then Sponge servers. So those are the three main servers that are kind of out there, and we're going to be going over all of them. My goal with this video is to actually help you figure out the best server for you and your friends to play on whenever you decide to start a Minecraft server and get things up and running. First and foremost though, thanks to Apex Minecraft Hosting for sponsoring this this video. If you want to set up a sponge server, a bucket server, or a paper or spigot server, bucket, paper, and spigot are the same thing. We're going to talk about that here in a second. But if you want to set up a sponge server, a bucket server, or a forge server quickly and easily with Apex Minecraft hosting, you can do it in just a few clicks. It's super easy. We actually use them to host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. And overall, they are by far the best Minecraft server host out there. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex for an incredible Minecraft server that you can set up in just just a few clicks. Nevertheless, let's just go ahead and jump right on in the differences between Forge, Bucket, and Sponge servers. Starting off, let's talk about Forge servers. Now, Forge is the number one modding platform for Minecraft. All of the best Minecraft mods of all time have been Forge mods. The biggest thing that makes Forge servers unique is that Forge servers can just have Forge mods on them. It can have plugins, it can have anything like that, it can just have Forge mods. On top of that, they're a bit inefficient in comparison to bucket, spigot, and paper servers, and even sponge servers, as we'll talk about a little later. So overall, Forge servers can only have Forge mods, and they're a bit inefficient. With that being said, though, most mod packs are ran on Forge servers. So if you're looking to install Sky Factory on a server, if you're looking to install Stoneblock on a server, if you're looking to install any of the FTB mod packs on a server, you're going to be running them on a Forge server. You're not going to be running them on any other kind of server. Forge server, that's where you're going to be if you are running a mod pack. With that being said, though, you're not going to be running 100 players on a Forge server. They're meant to be smaller with you and a few of your friends, so maybe 15 players max. And even then, you're going to need quite a bit of RAM, probably 16 gigabytes of RAM to be able to run like 20 players or so on a Forge server running a intensive mod pack like Sky Factory. So if you just want a few mods on a server, you can get a few players on there. But overall, it's not meant for a huge server with hundreds of players. It's meant for just you and your friends. Last but not least, Forge servers do require anyone who is playing on the server to offer also have the mods installed locally. So for example, if you have four different mods, Tinker's Construct, World Edit, Iron Chest, and Security Craft on your server, you're also going to need to have World Edit, Tinker's Construct, Security Craft, and Iron Chest all installed locally on your computer to be able to play on the server. Same goes for anybody else playing on your server. They're going to need those mods installed locally for them to work. So that's another downside of a Forge server that the other servers out there don't necessarily have issues with. Now moving on for Forge, let's talk about Bucket. With this though, we're also talking about Spigot servers and Paper servers because Spigot and Paper are forks, basically kind of like using Bucket's code in order to make Minecraft servers more efficient. So overall, you should always run a Paper server. That's kind of what you need to know from that. However, Bucket is what it's known as, so we're going to be talking about that as well here. All of these servers, Bucket, Spigot, Paper, all add new things to Minecraft via plugins and not mods. You can only run plugins on spigot bucket and paper servers. Now that does add in some limitations. Adding new blocks to the game and things like that isn't necessarily possible on spigot, bucket, and paper servers, but what it kind of lacks in functionality that mods do have, you gain back in efficiency because bucket servers are a lot more efficient than forge servers. And guess what? Paper servers are a lot more efficient than bucket servers. That's why you should always run your server on paper and then run all of your plugins whether they're for bucket or spigot on paper as well. I do have a separate video explaining the difference between bucket, spigot, and paper which you can check out the at the top of your screen but overall what you need to know is that bucket servers only allow you to run plugins, they don't allow you to run mods and because of that there is a bit of a limited functionality. With that being said though, you can run more players and run a bucket server more efficiently than you can a forge server. So for example, if you want to pack 100 players onto a Minecraft server, you can do that with bucket. You can't do that with forge. All the top servers from Breakdown Craft, our very own, to servers like Hypixel run some kind of fork of bucket in order to make it happen. So that is why, again, bucket is a great server to scale on, a great server platform to scale on, whereas forge necessarily isn't. Now, last but not least, we do have Sponge. Sponge is basically a community focused on bringing the best of a forge server and the best of a bucket server and kind of merging them into one. Now you sure aren't going to get as good a performance out of a 
sponge server as you are a bucket server but with that being said sponge servers are a lot more efficient than just a normal forge server is they went in and optimized the code as best as they can and actually a lot of people working on paper the most efficient version of bucket also work on sponge using sponge though you can run bucket plugins and forge mods together this is the only way to do that right now as far as i know there is no other server software out there running together Forge mods and bucket plugins. Sponge is the only one to do it. So if you want to be able to use the best of both worlds, Sponge is going to be the solution for you. Now, plugins will need to be Sponge compatible. Not every plugin out there is Sponge compatible. Most are, but for example, the new MCMMO that was rebooted by the original offer isn't yet Sponge compatible. He's working on it, but it's not there just yet. So you need to make sure that plugins can run on Sponge before you install them on your Sponge server. I mean, they might just not work or they might throw all kinds of errors, but overall, some plugins will work right out of the box. Some won't, but usually you do just need to make sure that it is Sponge compatible and and if it's got, you know, Sponge compatibility listed, you are good to go. Now, Forge mods are pretty much kind of an open game. If you can run it on a Forge server, you can probably run it on a Sponge server as well. So you're pretty good there as far as Forge mods go. Now, that's basically it. That's the advantage of a Sponge server, allowing you to run plugins and Forge mods together, even though you do need to make sure your plugins are Sponge compatible and pretty much all Forge mods will work. Now, with the performance boost that Sponge does give you, you can run about a 30-player modded server with Sponge without any issues. And as long as you have a decent amount of RAM, probably around around 10 to 16 gigabytes of RAM, you're gonna be able to do that with no problems. You can even maybe pump a few more players out of that, up to 50 players, if you are running a, you know, less intensive mod pack on Sponge. So overall, Sponge is very optimized in comparison to Forge servers, and it allows you to play both bucket plugins and spigot plugins together. Now, that sounds all great, except Sponge is a very difficult plugin to, uh, or very difficult server software to update. And because of that, it is only updated through 1.12. If you want 1.14 plus, which is our newest version currently, you're going to have to use something like Forge, or you're gonna have to use Bucket and kind of choose either ecosystem and not be able to merge them together like Sponge does. However, I do know the Sponge developers are working very very hard to update to 114 as fast as possible. But thank you also so much for watching. Those are the differences between those servers. Basically, Forge allows you to run just Forge mods on the server, and you do have to have those mods installed locally. Bucket plugins uh, don't require you to have the plugins installed locally in any way, but you are limited on functionality in comparison to Forge mods. Bucket is also more efficient, though, allowing you to run more players, and Sponge kind of merges the two together, allowing you to run Forge mods on your server, but also run some Spigot plugins as long as they are compatible with Sponge as well. So you all have it. That is the in-depth guide of all three of those different server softwares. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And thank you so, so much for watching. If this video did help you out, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.